Well, hi, Internet. This is Steve, a thousand year home. So today I'm talking restorative agriculture, and I can't stand to see uh, Blaze's hoof like that anymore. It bugged me. He came to me like this, all broken. Uh, see how the end of it, you can't really see it's collapsed. So I put his heart, uh, halter on and getting him used to that. I'm going to move the camera. He hates the stick. Man with a stick in his hand. And on old Hank, I trimmed three out of four hooves earlier and one hoof. So I'll start with him. So, so. As you all know, Blaze probably was an abused horse. He's adopted to me. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think he's ever had any hoof work done. And really, before I give the horse to a farrier, it's my responsibility to uh, teach a horse how to lift its feet. Having said that, a farrier, if this doesn't work at all, I'm, I'm not going to hopefully not get my teeth kicked out. Uh, but uh, hopefully he'll let me do his front hoof. And uh, if I let it go, it could collapse the coffin bone, change forever his ability to run. It's just awful. So uh, maybe if he sees me finish up old Hank here. And old Hank, I usually do laying down. But it's been raining. I haven't seen the horses. Two days ago, I saw them laying down together. And I went and got my stuff. They were already standing up by the time I got back. So anyway, let's take care of old, old uh, Hank there. And see if I can get that one hoof that's no good. <clears throat> now, Hank doesn't care about... Uh, Cowboy with a stick in his hand. I'm all out of fly spray too. I used the last of it today, so I don't know. Horses, horses might be extra twitchy. So off screen, uh, Blaze. Uh, off screen, I left the block box for Blaze to uh, sniff at. Now I've got this one last hoof here, and old Hank. Uh, he doesn't like this because he's been ridden so hard, his knees hurt. Right here, his knees hurt. And so, even bending his leg up, uh, he finds to be painful. No, I'll keep it low. I'll keep it low. Let me have it, though. I promise I'll be good. I should bring the camera around to the other side so you get more than my ass. But I don't know. I can subscribe if I got a good ass. I know that hurts you. I know, buddy. I know. If I don't take care of these hooves, that will hurt worse. Can you understand that? I really here, I'll let you put it down. I'll move the camera. I got the dirt out of it. Move the camera. And then I'll pick that hoof up. But you gotta let me have that hoof. Got to. All right, let me try that again. Take two. Come on. Come on. Let me have it. I could force him to pick it up, but I would prefer, let me have it and I'll trim it. I would prefer you just give it to me. There you go. Good boy. I know, I know, I know it's too high. Can you let pull it out a little bit? Just rest on me. Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Hank, you gotta let me do this, brother. And I can't really do it when you lay on me and everything. I, I know, I cut it bad, don't fall. See, he's so old. He, this is really hard work on him. People say, oh, you shouldn't let him lay on you. Well, I don't know what to say. Somebody shouldn't have ridden him so hard that his back kills him. His knees hurt. You know, you know a trained farrier, <laughs> a tra trained farrier comes and does this in 10 minutes. I'll try the guy who's the... Who needs the help the most? A lot of things I can get good at, but this isn't one of them. This is not one. There you go. 
You're such a good boy. Somebody broke a good horse, didn't they? Somebody broke a good horse. Let me spend a minute grooming him so he gets used to touch. You can see I take it easy around his back legs. This is the one that I want to groom or try to trim right here. I don't know if he'll let me or not. If I could pick it up, then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll look in the phone book for a new ferry or if I've got to trailer him and drive him somewhere, I'll trailer him and drive him somewhere. The side of his body is less res uh, responds in a more uh, positive manner than the other side of his body. Let's start with picking at his hooves. You, you should have let me. Blaze has an excuse. I don't know if he's even ever had his hooves done. So I'm going to start with just picking and see if he'll let me have the hoof. May I have it? Good boy. Yes, sir. Good boy. See that aggressive tail flick and all that? Tells me he's really not very thrilled. But I'm getting him there. I'm not gonna move the camera around or anything. If I had a third hand, it would be very helpful. Good boy. Yes, sir, that was so go good. That was good. So you can see that at the very least, I'm getting him prepared for a farrier to be able to actually come and farrier him. Teach him a little bit about it. The back hooves I haven't been able to do anything with. Thank you. Good boy. Yes, sir. Good boy. Just get this where it's in the right shape at the very least. Again, I don't think he's ever had his hoofs done. Those of you who've never had a horse will appreciate how hard this truly is. This is the hardest work uh, you could imagine. These, uh, this keratin or whatever these hooves are made of, man, it's rock hard. Rock hard. Good boy, Blaze. Good boy. I appreciate not getting kicked in the face. And I know that I'm an amateur. So he's being especially good to let a man like me who doesn't do this very often do it. Now I gotta switch hands. My left hand's not nearly as strong. We'll try it. I'm like, help me, baby Jesus, help me. Yeah, you're a good boy. I can't tell you how good you are. Yes, you are. Very, very good boy. Get down on one knee. Please don't kick me to death. All right. Oh, this is so good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will get this in good shape. You'll see. You'll be very pleased with me. And I'll be pleased with you. Yes, sir. And uh, real farriers and real cowboy men, they're laughing at me right now. But listen, uh, 
about a decade ago somebody ran me over and left me for dead shattered three spine so one more one more and then it will be all done and i'll have this at least round for you I'll just have it at least round oh you're such a good boy ah oh my goodness so that <laughs> That spinal injury is super tough. You see the head toss, he's so scared. Oh, that was so good. So good, he's so scared of a man with a stick or tool. Oh man, gosh, I could not be happier. Could not be happier. That was so good. <sighs> No, I should file that <sighs> to keep it from chipping. <sighs> Just a file. It's used to make your hoofs round. That's what that is. It's to make it round. My goodness. So much better. So much better. You got just a little more grace in you? Can I have it? There you go. What a good boy. And this is to keep you from getting broken. Hoofs out there. You got a big long crack in this one. Yes, you do. It's because nobody's ever done this for you. Yes, you do. It looks terrible. Let's see if we can get this flat for you. Then you'll be able to run. Oh, how much better your life will be. This is six months of hard work that I've worked with this horse to be able to handle him enough where I'm willing to take this chance out here all alone. Because this is probably the most unpredictable thing. I can see it. That I've done. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so good. That's a first there. Let's see if I can zoom in from way back there. If I move the camera, he'll he'll lose confidence in me. That one. The one that's back. Let me see if I can find it. The one that's back is the one that I just did. And at least I have it round. There, see the big split in it and see how it's delaminating? I really need a professional to come out and look at that hoof for me. But at least, oh my gosh, I've got it where I know it won't continue to split down it. So let me brush away the dirt. Oh, so good. You're so good. See, brushing away the dirt. See, he's got a split there. I'm worried about it. That's without any, uh, any treatment to calm him down. So, I don't know on this back leg. I wanted to get him desensitized with a broom. But they're not split like that. and I don't care to get hurt. I'll try the back legs maybe in another month. I, uh, I'll get my broom out and keep doing the back, desensitizing him. But uh, that tail flick at me, that's, that's the real deal. That's the real deal. It's a, a real aggressive thing when a horse does that. They know where their tail's going, and when they slap you in the face with it, they're well aware they're slapping you in the face. Oh, that was so good. I am so proud of you. Don't push old Hank. He's on a rope, Blaze. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I lost my thinking i let blaze off before hank and the first thing blaze did was come over and push him around so let me get old blaze here or hank here off the halter come here buddy 
So he let me take a couple of nibbles at his his bad hoof. Blaze. Come on now. Hey. Hey. Thank you. You don't know if he's gonna bite you, is does he? Oh more old horse. Poor old horse, I know I'm rescuing you. I know I'm rescuing you. <laughs> there, you better? Alright, let's get this off. So you have a chance of protecting yourself. There you go. All right, boys. Thank you. Wow. Humidity's 100% out here. 100%. That was hard work on me. The bending over part. I am fat. <laughs> fat and muscular and hurt all at once. So excited. Uh, six months ago or so, about six months, I got Blaze and... I've been working on him ever since. Man, he was so aggressive when I first got him. He uh, hated people. <laughs> hated people. So the fact I could touch his leg and get that far is just so much progress. He's coming up to me now off camera. Uh, down inside that horse is a really good horse. And um, old Hank is a good horse, but I'm too slow and he hurts too much from all that rodeo riding. And so he... Uh, he disinclined to let me continue to do that hoof. That's why I catch him sleeping on the ground and then I do, I prune him on the ground. But I don't know if Blaze would tolerate me. I really need my stick and brush so I can keep working, but I don't know what I did with it. Or Blaze. <laughs> you seen Blaze eating a shoe? So, or Blaze got my stick and took it, carried it off. He's that smart. I've seen him drag the horse trailer. Uh, of course, things, mystery things move around here. And they always move by, uh, they look like horsey marks when I'm done finding them. So, he comes up and rearranges my house for me. But this part of him back here is too sensitive. And if I pet them too much and I overstimulate them, I'll still get a problem. And then he'll feel guilty that he threw a hoof at me. And uh, then he'll be spooked for a few days. All right. Very, very good. Couldn't be happier. Well, if I was younger, 20 years younger, had a good back, I missed the... Miss the energy of youth, that's for sure. You should let me do that, finish doing that hoof, old Hank. You know that. I'll scratch his belly. He likes that. Oh my gosh, it's a belly. It's a belly rub. It's a belly rub. Look at my new face. I like the belly rub. I ordered more horse uh, fly treatment. I used stem, which is lemongrass and geranium oil. And man, that stuff, that, that'll kill a fly in a heartbeat. All right, these guys are being pretty good. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. I, uh, I got one thing done today. I got that broken split, hoof that split. I got it rounded back off where uh, it won't make the coffin bone in the... Uh, his hoof collapsed, so it'll buy me a little time till I get a farrier out here. His back hoofs he apparently wears down himself. So Blaze is taken care of, and I, the front hoof for Held Hank I trimmed uh, one, one third of it. <laughs> and then he, his knees hurt, and when I bend his knees back, even farriers, the farriers rough with him. And he's a gentle creature. He doesn't mean to do that, but somebody rode him a lot in the rodeo, and... Uh, now his knees hurt, so I can respect that. My back hurts. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Like, subscribe, follow me along.